great booster master cylinder kit all set up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get our engine and transmission where we want it. Two things you're more really want to going to pick up the same time you get your brake booster kit is you want to get your automatic transmission cross member. What this will do is give you enough clearance for the brake booster to be right here. The other thing I always like to get is the remote reservoir kit. It's a real drag to climb underneath there and check the brake fluid from time to time. So what you do is you get a new cap right here. You get the lines. You get the remote reservoir that you can mount in different places. Sometimes I'll put it in the cab. In this instance, we're just going to put it on the firewall, keep everything nice and simple. So be sure you pick these items up at the same time. You just make your job a little bit easier and your future life a little bit easier, too. They even give you all the bolts that come with the transmission cross member. You can't get better than that. With the engine and tranny pretty much mocked up where you want it, we're going to take our transmission cross member and actually bolt it to the transmission. Then we'll go ahead and get our tape measure out. And we'll double check to make sure that the transmission is exactly where we want it. We've got a plate underneath the transmission and jacked it up. You'll put your ends on first. And then go ahead and bolt it to the transmission. Then we'll get it dialed in exactly where we want it turned about an inch off of both sides so now what's going to happen is we're going to slide it in underneath the frame like this so this will be on top of the frame and when we're positioning our engine and tranny we can move it back and forth uh, a little something like this okay so here you can see it slides back and forth what I'll do is I'll bolt it to the transmission and then I'll be able to slide everything back and forth and get it exactly where I want it. We double checked all of our measurements, everything's cool. And the reason that we do this first is because the rubber mount down right here will um, kind of squish down with the weight of the transmission on there. So we're going to need this transmission located exactly where we want it in order to be able to get the engine exactly where we want it. So we'll do our transmission first and then we go from there. These clips typically get mangled over the years. So you go and get the newest style C clips. This is a 7 8 hole right here. Our brake booster is all mounted up. We've got everything all set. So now what we're going to do is start on our hard lines. But in order to see where our hard lines are going to go, we need to bolt up our front suspension parts. Get a weld on tab, it's just like this. You set her on here, you get your clip and put it on. And then we can see that our tab will fit real nice right here. up a little bit make clearance for the lower control arm so we'll stick our tab right there and then we'll have good clearance for everybody brake booster all set up we've got our brakes all attached and we've got our welded tabs where we want them so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set up our remote reservoir and our hard brake lines okay so on the back right here this is going to be for your rear on your proportioning valve this rear is for your back brakes so we'll just do a 90 degree right here and attach it to the brake line here in the front we can run out of the porthole that is either on this side right here next to the frame or we can run it on the outside over here it has a plug that we're going to put on the outer side because it's going to be easier to run our brake line from here, the one that's closest to the frame. So we'll just go straight down here, a 90 degree bend, go forward to our front. And here's a kit for doing a double flare. You can also do an AN fitting, which just start, stands for Army Navy, which is what originally came up with the AN fittings. 
but I just go with the uh, standard uh, double flare kit just because it's nice and easy. You can typically pick this up at the swap meet for a good price or Pet Boys, what have you. First thing we'll do is we'll pull out our pipe cutter and we'll cut ourselves off a section a little bit longer than we think we need. slowly rotate this around and this handle here tightens so you'll slowly tighten it take it around a couple of times tighten a little bit more wrap it around and just keep doing that until it pops right off what we're going to do now is going to go ahead and flare our end make sure you put your fitting on make sure that it's facing the right way we'll take our clamp here Typically the rule of thumb is you take your piece that goes in the top and you flip it upside down and you get it about even right there like that. So you take this piece back and we'll set it right on top like that. We'll take this right here. tighten it down. And we're not going to tighten this down until it always smashes. We're going to tight, tighten it down until it starts to mushroom right down in here. And then we're going to take this back off, take this piece out, Now we're going to screw this piece and push our mushroom head down. We're going to mash anything. We just want everything nice and firm. Because if you get it smashed, then it'll be too tight. So ideally, you want that when you tighten it down and it makes contact. With whatever you're screwing it on, you're screwing it onto, that's when it'll smash down the rest of the way, so to speak. So now we'll take this and turn it into a 90 degree. 